Yeah. Okay. Right. So do you want to put? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Can, can, can you can you like screenshot it? Let me see the bracket. Switch it. Yeah. Just take a screenshot. Well, you know, your... you know this is two o. You know this is two o, right? So just set the bracket and switch it out. I mean, because they haven't played in bracket yet either. <laughs> well, I mean, like, it's not their first tournament together either. It's your call. Like, I mean, like, I, we already started and well, we're whatever. running low on time. Let do it. We're already 10 minutes in and we have not oh, enough. Not enough. Not enough but it's easy to switch. No, I know. But. But. I, what, what's your. Okay, what's. What's your argument for not switching? My argument for not switching is that. Every time that they've played in bracket, they haven't met each other in bracket yet. So this is a matchup that needs to happen at least once. Okay, that works out. Alright, let's do it. Alright, we're back in it, guys. All right, here we go. So who's Sheik? Sheik is Timmy V. Sheik is in fact Timmy V. Timmy. Okay, cool. Dude, there's so many Samuses here. I, we, we have like four Samuses. We got here. like Gulahid. We got yeah. one arm from Chula Vista. We got um. We got drug. We got drug. We have Tricle Man. <laughs> Tricle Man is the best Samus. Uh, this is um. Ooh, this is actually a really bad matchup for Samus. Sheik definitely has the upper hand here. But that SD is definitely gonna hurt. No, I'm gonna switch it back to the other overlay for a quick one. Ooh. Timmy told me that he wanted to pick up Sheik because he doesn't have faith in his health anymore. Okay. He just doesn't like the spaces or doesn't um, like to. Uh, I think it's mainly because he's his worst matchup is Marth. So okay. That was the main reason. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, let him do him. Oh here, but uh, this is not working out. We might need to switch. The thing is, Falco's you um. Falcon's pretty okay against Samus, right? No, Samus is really good against Falco. This would be his best matchup, but it's not turning out too well. Oh wow, P oh. trying. Oh, here we go. It's crazy. I've never heard of this guy. He was at the tri weekly. I didn't have not gone to any tri weeklies. <laughs> so I don't. I don't know. Yeah, he's. Uh, he knows Andy Lee. Uh, Gerudo Swaggin. I actually don't know who that is here. <laughs> Not really, not really too familiar with a lot of these new faces. It's, it's good to know the community is growing, though. It's, it's good that I don't know some of these players. It, ma it makes it harder for us Arcadians, though, because that means there's like so many hidden bosses just roaming around. Exactly right, and you don't know when some old school people are going to come back. Like so, he brings them back to Yoshi's. Um, what do you think about the salty run back? Um, I don't know. I feel like this is one of Sheik's worst stages. Oof. Especially when he's no, getting oh. zoned by all these missiles. Well, this would usually be a better stage, so he, she wouldn't be able to shoot missiles, do you think? Because it's smaller? I, I guess in theory. I guess it depends on the Samus, because I know Gulu doesn't like the stage, but like Samus is like BK and Matt really do. Might be like... Yeah, because they want space. That's why like they usually yeah. counterpick Dreamland and but stuff. P. Tryon's a very, very aggressive Samus. He likes to like just be up in your face and jab you a bunch. Ooh, good grab. Can Timmy follow up? Um, the thing that Timmy V is missing a lot is these down throws to fairs because those are automatic. So I'm not sure why he's not. See, like that, he should be able to get that. He's not reacting fast enough. Ooh, that's a weird. He, he's really hesitant with his uh, jumps and double jumps. He's not committing to a lot of the punishes I feel he like could he be getting. He should also be doing things like run off Nair just to cover space. Run off Nair? Like, not against Samus, no. In that situation right there when he like almost missed the grapple. It, it would have killed though. So it's like high risk, high reward. And he's already down a stock, so it might not, like, systematically might not be the best play. Definitely want to be very optimal and control center stage. If you look at what's going on, um, PH Ryan, well, except for that, but. He was. He's been controlling center stage this whole time. 
Like, if you just look at his positioning. Ooh, that, that, that hurts a little bit. See, that's what you were talking about there, but the thing is, like, it's so hard to get that off, yeah. especially against Sheik. He's taking more chances now just because he's ahead, but... Yeah. No, I meant Timmy should have run off there, not Piatrian. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know. Because I, I feel like Okami would have run off there in that situation just to cover the edge. I'm not too sure about that, to be honest. It's because it's, it's very risky. Especially against Samus, and she wasn't at high enough percent where she would have gotten a kill. Because you yeah, definitely have to look at percentages, you can't just do it any time. Ooh. I like, I like the um, the control of center stage, like I said before, that PH, that PH Ryan has. He's just he's just winning neutral is what it is. Yeah. I think that's where uh, Timmy definitely struggles the most. Is, is this a neutral game? Because his Falcon is like... Uh, struggled in that all the time. Falcon? Yeah, it's Falcon. Oh. Actually, both, any of those characters would have been good against, uh... I thought you said Falco, that's no, why. Falcon. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's actually a favorable matchup. Oh, he used his jump. Whoa. I'm surprised Peach Ryan didn't cover that option, like, down to this is a big lead. The thing about playing characters like Samus, the thing about playing characters like Samus is if you're down a stock, it's actually a very big lead. So when you're down like two stocks, and that's a 2-0. Uh, 